there's no time to mess around. It's absolutely time right now. It's go time, and we're only moving forward. Look out below. Tyler on the attack. Into the paint. What a move. The time is now. We cannot relax. It's time for us to get to our game consistently. Lobbing. Slamming. It starts tonight. It's time for us, especially here at home, to win these ball games. It's time. For us, this is our, this is continuing to be our March Madness. I think you know, for us coming down the stretch, having to play very well to get in the playoffs, you know, I think our team is already in that mode. Um, the East game matters, you know, coming down the stretch. We know what we have to do. We still got six games left. I mean, it's not like that we're going to... Uh, you know, just relax now. That's not us. Every game is, is a playing game. This is the ultimate playing game for us uh, tonight uh, to be able to have an opportunity to put a check mark next to our name, and we don't have to rely on anybody else but us. Our destiny is in our hands uh, for tonight. And then hopefully we can take care of that and move on to the next challenge. I'll show you exactly Let's do what happened. Let's go right to the fourth quarter and show you what happened. Uh, J.J. is the guy who got them back in the game. You talked about it, and we see it here. The physicality, his athleticism on display, taking the hit. Look at this little shuttle pass back, and then a little strong move delivering the blow. N1 opportunity for J.J., and Hollis Jefferson's lost his mind. Yeah, he, he went a little crazy there. He certainly did. <laughs> Justice Snow, with freight train coming through. Big play there down the stretch. Again, Miami had been down by nine, John. And then Dwayne Wade had a really quiet game. We haven't said much about him. You know, he missed that last shot. But boy, he was the guy they turned to down the stretch after JJ got the back of the game. Yeah, he kind of took it upon himself. And I love when he gets that angle going to the rim. A great finisher when he's catching it going that way and able to get to the rim there. All right, so Hollis Jefferson is a guy that you, you see this the end one here, man. JJ kind of got a little late there. Got yeah, a triple him. handoff, you yeah. know, fakes it like Kelly O style. JJ stood up and he was able to get the step on it. You know, we talked so much about the Wade miss that just stayed up on the rim. How about Gordon Drugs? This wasn't an easy look for John. It oh, oh. Looked so looked like it I'll had a tell shot. You, from my vantage point, I thought he had a very good call. He turned the corner, he had the step. Maybe he could have gone a little closer to the basket there. All right, so we go into overtime. You feel good on your home court. A uh, great passing here. John, it's a good way to start OT with the ball move. Yeah, I thought Justice really did a nice job off the bench. 11 points and uh, seven boards for him. Did he hold it here? Did he hold the pivot foot? Did, did he? I don't know, man. It was close. Spinning around on it. It was close. They're up two, though. Are the Nets? And then look at Jay Rich. A little push off there. That's all right. Get the space. Hit the jumper. <laughs> We'll take it. We like it when it's on we'll our side. We'll take it. <laughs> Lavert, meanwhile, my goodness, off the bench. I mean, that, that's not an easy shot, John. I'll tell you, this guy really showed me something at 6'7", great length to be able to finish with those medium-range jumpers. One of my favorite plays of the game, D. Wade, you know he may take the shot, but he makes the great pass to J.J. And J.J., again, a great target. Nice dive cut to the rim, able to receive and finish. The answer. And every time I can tell myself, okay, now the Heat are going to get control, and then that shot. Lavert with the... Convert. Yeah. Oh, I like, look at you. And here is, this is where we're going crazy. John, I, I'm, I'm going crazy here. I'm ripping the hairs out of my head. Everything, the ball, ball's around. What's going on? Wait, the ball's loose. This is, this is just insane basketball. Helter, skelter, no rhythm, no flow. This is just straight effort right here. And, and you see, here's the look that, that you say to yourself, oh, it's a tough one, but then a rebound. And the out, this is a great look, oh, John. Oh, it is. I mean, oh. you take that all day long with Jay Rich out there. And then another opportunity. But then Spoke calls the timeout. You got the timeout, but then you got a man on the on the floor. You got Spo in the middle with his head down. Spo is going to haunt. Play. He's going to be haunted by that timeout oh, call here in the season. You know, oh. but then that, that's a great play. It's just one of those nights, John, that you hate to say it, chalk it up to the basketball gods, but they had two very good looks to potentially win in regulation and overtime. And they lose. Yeah. I mean, it's very difficult. I, I can't remember a team having more overtime games. Heat now two and six in overtime. And 
boy just came right down to the end again and they got a, a really solid look and just couldn't make it. Has to find a way to do this more often because he's so strong going to the basket at 6'8", 240, 250. He's physical. Look at the defense here he played too, bodying up Hollis Jefferson. He's quick enough to guard guys and then get out with his speed and transition and finish uh, you know, at the rim. Look at the foul and one opportunity. Goes to his left hand as a right-handed guy and then just bulls over uh, you know, and picks up a foul. This was just deft ball handling here. I love it. Nice touch up inside, and he was able to, to do that to the tune of 12 points in that fourth quarter on four or five shooting. Also drew fouls, got to the charity strike, went four or five uh, there, and, and just overall performance, 18 points. But, you know, really strong performance by him to get the game even in reach and give the Heat an opportunity.